good day and welcome to go language programming the first thing we need to do is set up our environment so the first thing we need to do is install the git um, version control system and we actually need that when we're doing go so i'm going to open up my browser here go to git.scm.com and download git for my platform so this is set up for windows so i'm going to just download the git for windows here and then um, while that is downloading, um, I'm going to um, open up a, another tab and start downloading um, the Golang installation also for Windows um, since well, we have to install that also. So we might as well get that going also. For Golang, I'm going to head over to golang.org and click on download and then mm -hmm. click select the installation for again my platform in this case it's going to be on windows and and select that and just let it download and then once that's downloaded we can install all these things later but the one other thing i want to download is the ide so for that i'm going to actually start searching for it but eventually regardless of how you get it if you search for it and you click on the download link or um, you just type it in what you want to do is you really want to end up at this site here okay so i'm going to get video start visual studio downloading but while that's happening i'm going to start installing the tools by starting with git and the only thing you really need to know here is standard Linux installation, um, sorry, Windows installation, is I recommend that you choose to install the git bash and, um, you know, set associate that sh file with git bash. You also want to choose to check out from um, git prompt and uh, from the Windows prompt to so install the git tools. Um, you want, I would suggest checking out that Windows style, um, Unix style even in Windows. Um, so. Uh, just make life a lot easier for everybody who you might share code with and then you install pretty much nothing to it um, just standard stuff okay so now we're going to start with the go installation and this is pretty straightforward um, we just double click on this click that and just select and you know accept and you keep going and again nothing to it standard windows installation stuff um, and once that's finished, you're all set to go. And again, we're going to rinse and repeat and do the Visual Studio installation. And again, nothing much, just select the default. Um, and then go ahead and this is going to complete. Um, you can slow it down if you want to see the details, the boring details. But eventually, you'll have a screen that looks like this. And once this is up, this is good. We'll, in the next video, I'll show you how to set it up. I um, also post some videos for, you know, how to set up debugging and so on, but we'll get there. Alright, thanks. This is the first step. See you in the next video. Bye.